Good evening, Bookman Beacons. This is Dr. Hill with this week's message from the helm. We certainly hope that you have had an awesome week and that you have looked for a number of ways to demonstrate the life skill of integrity. And integrity means to act according to what's right or wrong. As we embark on this weekend, a long weekend, by the way, since there is no school tomorrow, I encourage you to look for ways to show integrity at home and in your community. Remember that a person with integrity keeps their promises. They tell the truth, even if it might get them in trouble. They locate the owners of found objects instead of keeping them for themselves. They might work through misunderstandings and they may resist, resist peer pressure. So once again, these are people who speak and act according to their own values and beliefs. Once again, make sure to look for opportunities to demonstrate integrity and encourage others to use integrity as well. Family and friends, we just want to let you know, we know that you probably received a notification that a tentative date for students to return to school is uh, this month, October the 26th. We want you to know that we are planning uh, intently on and, and welcoming the return of our students. Um, we are also looking at ways that we can uh, make the environment uh, safe and conducive to learning for our students. And we want you to know that we are doing all that we can to make sure that it is a smooth transition for the Beacons who will be returning face to face. As was indicated uh, on the parent survey that typically goes out at the end of last year, we always try to consider what's in the best interest of students when placing students in classes. As we transition to phase two, when that day comes, once again, a, the tentative return date is the 26th, but as we move into phase two, we want to remind you that this may entail adjusting class placements in order to accommodate students who are coming back in person and to accommodate students who will continue with e-learning. Uh, the deadline for submitting that survey was back at the end of September. However, if this week you determine that you would like to make a change to that placement, we, we are encouraging you to simply call the school. Once again, if you anticipate a change to your placement, we are asking you to this week uh, or the beginning of next week, rather by the time you see this beacon, to contact the school so that we may reflect those changes in our class placements. Um, we would love to have a conversation with each and every one of you individually, but at this time, we are exercising our life skill of flexibility and perseverance because we are going to do our personal best to honor everyone's choice, but also to create the most safe learning environment possible for our beacons. We thank you so much again for your support, those who have shared encouraging words during this time, uh, and we want to also encourage you. We wanna thank you for your partnership, thank you for your hard work and your perseverance, and together we will get through this as we have every time before when we've been confronted with challenges. Once again, thanks so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And in all things, remember, we're beacons who light the way in personal character, academics, and community service. Have a wonderful weekend.